in today's episode I'm going to be showing you how <laughs> in today's episode I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm growing Barbados cherries they're my favorite kind of cherries and they love they love the hot climate stay tuned you guys are gonna like it. Welcome back to the Hopper family and garden channel with me Jay and today I'm showing you how I'm growing sherry specifically how I'm growing Barbados sherries they're my favorite uh, kind of sherry and they love the hot climate so if you live in Florida or anywhere else where it's very hot this is the sherry for you I got this tree about almost two years ago and in my first house, I had an amazing cherry tree that gave me plenty of cherries. However, when I moved to this house, I left my cherry tree in the other house because it was too big to move. And I was already moving a lot of trees back then. So this is one of my first trees I ever planted in the new house. And you guys can see how big it is. It's very wide and it's growing very fast. Um, it gives me plenty of cherries. As you can see right here is about is producing at the moment actually right here and this one is almost ready you know that they're ready when they turn a dark red and actually another thing that I love about this tree is that the birds don't don't eat the cherries uh, you know as other fruits that the birds love. I don't know, I think it's because they're a little bit acidic, like a cherry tomato, and that's why the birds don't like it as much. Also, the Barbados cherry tree, you don't necessarily have to grow it for the fruit. Uh, you can also grow it as an ornamental tree. It's a very attractive, gorgeous, evergreen tree that with a plus will give you some delicious, dark, big, red cherries this tree can get very massive if you let it uh, i mean i'm going to grow it about eight feet tall maybe even sh uh, shorter about six feet tall because then it's going to become really hard for you to grab the cherries uh, also make sure that the location that you pick for this sun is uh, for this tree is full sun and that this is going to grow very wide so you want to have that space for it and uh, you want to prune it do not let it become too big because then you're not going to be able to reach uh, those delicious cherries just like any of my other fruit trees do not forget to mulch around it and put organic matter into it uh, any fruits that you don't want to eat anything throw it in here any waste from any of your animals that you may have or you can go to a uh, or tractor supply and buy some organic matter that's gonna really help your tree thrive and please please mosh a lot thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel uh, let me know down in the comment below if you guys like cherries and specific if you guys like barbaro cherries i absolutely love them and uh, if you're growing them please let me know some tips that you may have down in the comment below thank you guys bye